name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ninth, let us take our Bible to Genesis twenty two seventeen. Genesis chapter 22, verse 17. And reads. That in blessing I will bless thee. Hallelujah. Amen. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven. And as, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And the sea shall possess the gates of his enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And then we can be seated. Verse 12. For as many as for us for as the body is one, and I've many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also is Christ. Amen. 13. For by one spirit, for by for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. We know that is the body of Christ. Amen? Because the verse 12 defines that. Amen? Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Amen? We may be seated. We shall look at the topic tonight on the overcomer in the promise that possess the gates of his enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read another scripture about in Genesis 24, 60, this promise was repeated. Amen? And it says, And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Thou art our sister. That's Rebekah's brothers. Amen? When Eliza went out to look for a bride for Isaac, and he found that bride. Amen? So miraculously, the same word came out from his brethren, amen, to that bride. Thou art our sister, be that a mother of thousands of millions. And let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. Amen. Let thy seed possess the gates. Amen. Let us possess the gate of those who hate them. Amen. Hallelujah. Anything that hate us, the Bible says that we will overcome it. And in, even how? It's so strange that he said, we will overcome it by good. Amen. Paul said, overcome the evil of God. Good. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the weapon. Amen. That God has given to the believers, has given to you and me. Amen? 
that we have to overcome the evil one by good. Amen. Hallelujah. And we know God is good. Amen. And he is our armor. And wherever we stand, wherever the enemy faces us in any corner, in every condition, through God we shall overcome. Amen. We shall overcome every enemy, any, every, anything that hates us. Amen. And Paul even said the last enemy to be overcome is what? Death. Amen. Death is our enemy. Hallelujah. But that one even we will overcome. The overcomer in the promise will overcome death. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are in the promise, my brother, you have overcome death. Because he said, if this every tabernacle be dissolved, we have another one waiting. Amen. The one in the promise has another one waiting. Amen. That when he dropped this rope of flesh, he stepped into another one. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's what Paul had this to say. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Amen. If you are in the Lord, rejoice. Amen. And how can you be in the Lord? We have learned from this book of Corinthians 1, 12, that we must get into the body. Amen. And that is the body of Christ. Amen. And Brother Brown said, that is the body that is going up to the rapture. It is the body of Christ that is going to the rapture. Amen? Because it's that body that is perfect. Amen? Hallelujah. So therefore, every member, every believer, every whom as that we get into that body. Amen? Hallelujah. That is our ark. Amen? In the time of Noah, it was an ark. Amen? Uh, ark of a, a gova tree, amen, which was pitched inside and outside, amen, and was able to stand the temptation and tribulations of all, amen, hallelujah, and the pitch that, brothers, it, it, that is the atonement, that was pitched between inside and outside, amen, blessed be the name of the Lord, and Christ has done, given us the perfect atonement, amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And it is there for those that have been, if you are in that body, amen. Hallelujah. So, brethren, my brothers, my sister, we must strive to be in the body, amen. By one spirit, we are all baptized into that one body, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The church, by its calling, is not a territorial. Her calling and authority is spiritual one, whereby the evil gates of spiritual dominion that broke the purpose of God is revealing, in revealing the light of the gospel, are torn down. Amen. So we that are in the promise, amen, we have to tear down the stronghold of the enemy. Paul said, the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but a mighty true God, the pulling down of what? Stronghold. The church of Christ shall never die, amen. Hallelujah. The church of Christ will Continue to prevail. Hallelujah. Even at a time that it seems that God, it things are silent, that is when God moves. Amen. Hallelujah. And every promise that is promised to the, to the bride will, will, will be fulfilled. Amen. We shall see that manifestation. Amen. There's once more going to be an attraction. Amen. Hallelujah. And when there is an attraction, then there is a manifestation. Amen. In a time when God was about to deliver the children of Israel out of, out of slavery, amen, there was an attraction. Amen. Hallelujah. There was an attraction. 
Moses by the, by the burning bush. Amen? Hallelujah. So, so something attracted his attention. Amen? And he stood still. Hallelujah. And trying to find out what that thing was about. Amen? Then a voice came out from that bush. Amen? Which was burning. Amen? A bush that was burning, but it's not being consumed. Amen. Hallelujah. It is an attraction. Amen. It is a manifestation. Amen. Meaning that God, that meaning that God is purposed to do something. Amen. Anytime there is a manifestation, anytime there's an attraction, that God is purposed to do something. Hallelujah. Then the time will come that the children of Israel must be delivered from slavery. Amen. Hallelujah. The time that it was silence, maybe some people were looking through the books, the prophecies of Abraham, of what he said, that after 400 years, we'll be delivered out of slavery. But 400 years have come. But nothing is happening. You look at it's silence. Amen. But in a time of silence, that is when God moves. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And God stepped on the scene with power. Amen. God delivered by power. Amen. Redemption by power. Amen. There's power in the church of God. Amen. Paul said we are not using and tithing well, but, 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 but we, by, by the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So me and you, have, I, we are being delivered by power. Amen. In the time of Moses, if God delivered them by power, then he's going to deliver the bride also by power. Amen. There will be coming a time that even this... Uh, Cannot hold us down. Amen. Hallelujah. We will defy all forces of gravity. Amen. Hallelujah. And we will meet our Lord in the air. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. That attraction will take place. Amen. That manifestation will surely come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Brown said, when there is an attraction, it draws all kinds of people around. Amen. To come and see what is happening. Amen. But God does that attraction in order to call his elected one. Amen. Because those that come to see that attraction, some of them will become critics. Some of them will not believe. Amen. But those that are of God. Amen. That's one thing they are looking for. The voice behind the attraction. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when Jesus came on the scene and started to do the miracles, healing the sick, opening the, the eyes of the blind, doing all, walking on the sea, and all these things, that was an attraction. That was a, a, an attraction. Amen. It pulled the crowds together. Amen. It put all people from all walks of life to come and see what is going on. Amen. But it takes only those that have been are of God to hear the voice. Amen. My sheep know my voice. Amen. Hallelujah. So it has happened even now. This is our time that there has been an attraction. Amen. Draw men to, to come and see you. What is going on? Amen. Hallelujah. But it does take a few to listen to that voice. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That take a few to listen to thy voice. And my subject is trying to hear from what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying what we are going to what I'm trying to say is that the overcomer in the promise that possess the gate of his enemies. Amen? For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, 
And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. And Paul continues to say, put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. So then to possess the gate of our enemies requires, dedica requires dedicated, opportune, energetic prayer. Amen. Since we are up against the unseen, but real and wicked rulers of this age, it's going to take prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. This is no easy struggle. What we urgently need today is the restoration of corporate prayer meeting in local churches everywhere. Amen? The early church made corporal prayer an absolute priority. And thus, the pages of the book of art affirm this all the time. Amen? Because Jesus said, and my house shall be called a house of prayer. Brother, that's what Jesus said. My house shall be called a house of prayer. And prayer means that, prayer means communion. Amen? And that's what even he symbolizes in the Lord's Supper. Amen? Prayer means communion. God speaking to you and you speaking back to God. Hallelujah. You must have communion with God. Amen? Hallelujah. God wants to hear from you. Amen? God has told you something. Amen? His word has come to you. Amen? And therefore, whatever, whatever you also is your need, you must put it before him. He said, be careful for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto God. Amen? Hallelujah. So we come to church to hear his word. Amen. We come to church also to speak to him. Amen. Hallelujah. When we are there in a house, in a, a house, a family, mother, children. Amen. It's not only the mother or the father does the, does the talking in the house. Amen. The children also does their own. Amen. Hallelujah. They have their place. Amen. To also to talk. Amen. To also to make their grievances known. Hallelujah. In the house. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, he sent down the Holy Ghost to continue through the Gentiles to take out a seed of promise. Amen? Hallelujah. To give to the Gentiles the, the, the offcast, to give to them the baptism of the Holy Ghost to bring them into the promise. Hallelujah. Now we have the right to conquer all sickness. Amen. The prophet said, now we have the right to conquer all sickness. We don't have to conquer it. It is already conquered. We just have to claim the promise and Go take it. 
it is already conquered. Death is conquered. We just have to claim the promise and go take it. Amen? Hell is conquered. Sickness is conquered. Temptation is conquered. All devils is conquered. Hell is conquered. Death is conquered. The grave is conquered. We stand in the gates. Taking it. We stand in the gates. Taking it. Don't have to, don't have to fire a shot. It is already been paid for. He continues, said, his enemy, his enemy, he will possess the gate of his enemy. How many? Thousands of millions. He will possess the gate of his enemy. Every enemy. Amen? Hallelujah. He rose from the dead. We possess it because he gave it to us. Amen? It is, all, it is all a free gift. Beside all that, and everything that he has done and conquered every gate. He conquered sickness, took the gate. Only thing we have to do is to walk up to the gate and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the conqueror, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the position of the overcomer in the promise. Amen. All that you have to do is to say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if it's a demon, come out of him or come out of her. Amen. If it is sickness, all that we have to say, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I once, once upon, one time I was listening to the prayer line of Brother Abraham. He never prayed a long prayer over the sick people because the anointing is there. So in the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of, that was all that he was saying. And it was effective. Amen. Before the sickness went. We're departing. Demons were being cast out. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you have to stay in under the anointing. Amen. The believer in the promise. When it comes time to die, and death said, Watch. Watch me take him. Watch, watch me take him, watch me take him, watch, watch me make him take back his religion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, roll back Jordan. Amen. And we know Jordan is there. Amen. Hallelujah. The seed of Abraham takes the gate. Amen. Why? Paul said, when they were fixing to cut his head off, a seed of Abraham, amen, he said, death, where is your sting? Amen. Grave, where is your victory? Thank be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He shall possess the gate of his enemy. Take it. Now he is not battered at the gate. He will conquer it and take it. He will possess it. That is in his own power. In the church, in the church of the living God, this tonight, lays the power to heal all sickness. In the church of the living God lays the power to overcome all temptations. Amen. 
in the possession of the church of the living God tonight. Let the power, amen, to change sin and throw it away and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost in the church of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you desire, amen, whatsoever you desire, ask in my name and it shall be given to you. The believer in the promise. Hallelujah. A little while and the world not the not seed the unregenerated seed. The world is talking about is those that are not the seed. Those that are not are unregenerated. Amen? Will see me no more. Amen? Hallelujah. The unbeliever will not see him. Amen? The unregenerated one, the unregenerated one will not see him. Yet you will see me. Amen? For well, I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. But the royal seed of Abraham. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are in that promise, if you are in the body, that body of Christ, you are the royal seed of Abraham. And how can you get into that body? By one spirit. Amen. Or baptized into that body. And that body will do the same works of Christ. Amen? So the work that I do shall you do also. Amen? Hallelujah. This is a promise. Amen? Blessed be the name of the Lord. If Jesus healed the sick, the bride will heal the sick. If Jesus casts out devils, the bride will cast out devils. Amen? Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is the promise. Amen? The works that I do, shall you do also. Amen? Because he has come to dwell in us. All that was in God was poured into Christ. And all that was in Christ was poured into the church. Amen. I said, the works that I do, shall you do also. John said, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. So will you become us. Amen. And I will very and I'll verify myself that I am with you. Amen? Hallelujah. For this sign, for these signs shall follow them that believe. He shall possess that he shall possess the seed of his enemy. He shall possess. His seed shall possess the gate of his enemy. No matter what the gate is. If it is sickness. Temptations, sin, whatever gate it is, it is conquered. And the seed of Abraham possesses it. Amen. Aren't you happy tonight? Amen. To know that we stand now more than conqueror. More than conqueror. Oh, there is nothing to fight about. The fight is over. The whistle has been blown. The flag has rose. And in the midst of every sin pile, every, every midst of every sick room is the old ragged cross planted by the blood of Jesus Christ, a conqueror. Only thing we do is believe. Look and live. Amen. It's to believe. Amen. Look and live. Amen. Say, I'll be with you. I'll prove. 
People come in the last days and say, oh, well, that was, but it will be with you. Amen? And everything I did here on earth, it will be in you. Doing the very same thing. Amen? These are the words of Jesus Christ. If only we believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Just as Moses told them on the wilderness when they were beaten by the serpents. Amen. He raised out the brazen serpent in the midst of them and said, Look and leave. Amen. So all that you have to do is to believe. Amen. And to look. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today the church of the living God has the privilege of standing and seeing the conquering. Resurrected Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, standing present, living in his church, doing the same thing he did then. Then we possess the gates of every enemy. If you have got an enemy this tonight, amen, then my brother, there's only if you are a seed of Abraham, after hearing this, there's not enough devil in hell can keep the gate before you. It will open. Amen? Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. You walk up there as as a promised seed. Say, I claim this for mine. Amen? Hallelujah. As a seed of Abraham. Amen? If you know that you are in the body, amen. If you know, hallelujah, you must know who you are. Amen? To be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. This is mine because God swore that he will raise up Jesus. Through Jesus, I will conquer it. Amen? I come in the name of that conqueror, Jesus Christ. Step back. Amen? Hallelujah. That's how you have to battle the devil. Amen? As a son and a daughter of God. As one in the promise. Amen? Hallelujah. If you are in the promise, amen, as a seed of Abraham, this is the way you have to act. Amen? As a conqueror. Amen? You must go as a conqueror. Hallelujah. I was once listening to um, uh, this uh, 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 when my leader was going to one for the, for the trial. Amen. Before the prince. Amen. Hallelujah. And when he was going, all the crowd, because there was an attraction. Amen. All the crowd were following my leader down to the worms. Amen. For his trials. Hey, hallelujah. And they were shouting behind him. And about, they were about to approach the castle, amen, where it was going to be tried or be questioned, amen. The prince opened the window and saw how he was coming as a coming and people were cheering him, amen. He said, I thought I was coming to try him, but he's coming as a conqueror, amen. That's how the seed of Abraham should be, amen. Must go as a conqueror. He must see you as a conqueror. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he was a conqueror too. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I thought I was coming to try him, but he's coming as a conqueror. Amen. Seed of Abraham. We are conquerors. We are more than conquerors to Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. He shall possess the gates of the enemy. Then stand up there with your shoulders back and your shields shining. 
covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus, the enemy will recognize it. Amen? That day the king, the prince, or the emperor, amen, recognized that day that my Luther was a conqueror. Amen. And truly, the way that came out of his mouth was just like uh, Caiaphas. Amen. Hallelujah. Came out of the mouth, the one that has to die to save us. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. If you have need, talk to him. Amen? Talk to him now while we pray. Amen? In here this tonight, while you have our heads bowed. Amen? Let us turn up. So if you have need, talk to him. Amen? Seed of Abraham. Amen? We have come. We have heard his word. Also, what is on our heart? Let it be known unto him. Hallelujah. Just if God knows your needs. Amen? So tonight, as we have heard this, the, uh, this message about the overcomer in the promise, possessing the gates of his enemies, if you have a need, talk to him. Amen? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before thee. We have heard your word. Where said, Lord, it is finished, as you said on the cross of Calvary. It is conquered. Everything, Lord, and all that we have to do is to step in and take it, Lord. Therefore, we come up against every devil. We come up against every sin. Come up against every temptation. We come up against anything, oh God, that bats our life. And we possess it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Father, your word is true. For you always said, that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never, never pass away. So the work that I do shall you do also. In the name of Jesus, Lord, uh, any sin that is to be set us, oh, any sin that is to be set us, Lord, we break it in Jesus' name. We are remembering our children, oh, our youth, oh God, that are facing the, the conditions of this time, oh, that have become a challenge to them. We pray that that influence might be broken, oh Lord. We cramp them for Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Moses said, we shall go with our young, with our old, with our little ones, with, oh, with our feeble ones, and even the hoof of our houses and our cows. So, Lord, we claim everyone in the name of Jesus. We come, against, come up against the devil, the evil one, and we slay him by the sword of the word. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the people of God be freed. Lord Jesus, we pray tonight, Lord, that the cord of the wicked that he has used to bind anyone be cut into, into pieces tonight, O oh Lord. As the servant David has said, the Lord is just, and he has cut asunder the cord of the wicked. We to us tonight, Lord, we stand in that same faith, Lord, and we cut the cord of the wicked one in the mighty name of Jesus. We break, we break the cord, the chains of the wicked one. We break it tonight in Jesus' name. May the people of God be free. We thank you. Oh, as we step in your faith tonight, we thank you. We bless you for you. Bless you. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you on him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, in Jesus' name. We break every rod of the wicked one. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us sing this song as the pastor comes in. Oh, Lord, send your power just now. Oh, Lord, send your power just now. Oh, Lord, send your power just now. And baptize everyone. Oh yes, oh Lord, send your power just now. Oh Lord, send your power just now. 